All right, I cleaned up my London broils. This one didn't make it. I had to turn that one into two pieces. Now I'm gonna do a triple pepper dry rub. All right, to this I'm gonna add Ooh, that's going to be a lot. Cayenne. Smoky Crushed. Black Pepper. Dollar Store. Berry Powder. Oh, don't use that. Use Fresh Ground Cracked Pepper. Oh, I'm doing a dry rub. I want the finest pepper I can use. Alright. A little garlic powder. And a little onion powder. And there's my dry rub. Turn it on its side. Couple mixes. If you want, you can put paprika in here or anything you want. This is just straight three pepper. All right. Now we want. Coating. Some of that. Flip it over. Mix to each other. And ooh. three pepper dry rub. Well, for you, you're going to have to use two pepper because you don't have, what? Smoky crushed red pepper. Only I know. I did approach a spice manufacturer, and they never got back to me. About potentially marketing my smoky crushed red pepper. Nobody wants to do business with me. All they want to do is steal my stuff. I don't get it. I'm a smart guy. Why wouldn't somebody want to do business with me? I call them, nobody calls me back. I heard some guy was working on a computer in his garage in California a long time ago, early 80s. Contacted him. It's like, hey, Steve, my name's James Burrell. I got some keyboards you're going to be interested in. What does he do years later? Steals my invention. All right, we look nice. We're doing a good job. This is going to be unbelievable. If you don't like pepper, I wouldn't do this. I was actually going to put some wasabi in here. That would be nice, huh? Seeing you don't have the smoky crusher of pepper, which is giving it this unbelievable smell. You could sm barely smell all the others, but the smoky crusher of pepper, this is what you're smelling right now. I was going to do this last night and let it sit and marinate, but for what? It's a dry rub. Look how well that's coated. Very excellent coating. You know you're doing a good job if your hand looks like that. Try to get this one. This one's going to be the, the best piece probably. Watch. Triple ginger meets triple pepper. You know, the smoky crushed red pepper and you like the spice, use the wasabi as your other heat source. We got a little crack there. Try to rub some in there. That looks good. That's a well-coated piece dry rub. 
coated piece of meat on. All right, now I want to take a pan, get it nice and hot. Oh, you know I'm using the red copper pan because nothing sticks and I don't want to put any oil in this. And I want to sear both sides of it for like two or three minutes on each side to seal it. And then I want to turn that heat down to where you barely see it and cook it for like 45 minutes on each side. And then just shut it off and let it come to room temperature. Put it in the fridge, chill it, and then slice it. Then it's time to make some more burritos. Probably going to use some of that. That is unbelievable. That's a new condiment for me. Whatever made me think of it, just got lucky. They had some extra mushrooms. Hey, half price. We got some shiitake. We got some baby portobellas. We want to get rid of them. All right, I'll buy them. I'll try something new. And then I remembered, ooh, that teriyaki sauce. Triple ginger. I wonder what that's all about. And now I know. Thank you, Kiko Man. And we'll be back to this. In a few, what? Fractions of a second? Cause, pause for the cause. In about three minutes on one side. And I smell starting to burn a little. Ooh, there we go. That's that sear I was looking for. Let's see what it looks like. Damn. Got it. Perfect. Take this one. Oh man, I ruined my coating. Oops. Perfect. Put that one in there. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll flip it one more time and put that heat on the lowest that it can go and do that for like 45 minutes. That's like perfect right here. It's almost burnt. When you're cooking it, your nose is your most valuable asset. Just flipped it. Let it cool off a little. It's not sizzling anymore. Now I'm going to put it back onto the flame. As low as the flame will go. And I want to cook this for like 45 minutes to an hour. Depending on how thick this is. Because of this is not the first time doing it. This one is about 45 minutes. If I was doing a thicker one, it would definitely be an hour. So 45 minutes each side. And we're good to go. In 15 minutes, I got a layer of liquid, but I got a capping that I see here. Only because of the capping, we're going to flip it now. I'm not going to let it go full duration. See the liquid in the bottom that's developing? I want to leave that liquid there because that is helping it stay moist and it's helping it cook. Back on the stove. I haven't shut off the stove. It's still on. And there we go. Leave that liquid in there. I'm not dump it out. It's another 15 minutes. Oh, it's been cooking for a half hour. I'm gonna flip it one more time. Probably what I'm going to do is see the redness right here. We know it's still really rare inside. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. We're going to do 15 on this side, 15 again on the other side. And then we're done. Leave that liquid in there. It's marinating and cooking simultaneously. Back in a fraction of a second to flip it. We're in the last 15 minutes. Once I finish, all I'm going to do is shut this off, 
and let it cool. Put it in the fridge, flip it. Once I flip it, when it's in the fridge, it's going to absorb more of those beautiful juices that are sitting in that pan. So it's 15, 15, 15, 15 each side. The other 15 minutes is up. I'm going to keep flipping it on. See how this side looks a little dry? I'm going to flip it over. Moisten them up. And because the other side is hot, we're going to flip it back over. Whoops. Making a little mess on the table. And that's how I cook my London broil. You can smell the peppers. A blend of three peppers is amazing. Give it a taste. You think it'd be real spicy? It's not. Just like the first time I cooked with wasabi. Coating something with wasabi and then cooking it. It's like the heat goes away. You think it'd be like fire and it's not. It's delicious. Just like this will be. Alright. Next time you see this I'll be cutting it up and putting it into a pan. Or a pot I should say.